In the mid-1800s, Anna Maria Russell, the Duchess of Bedford, introduced the tradition of the afternoon or high tea, a late afternoon meal that usually consisted of tea, biscuits, small sandwiches, and various cakes and or sweets. The gatherings were usually held by upper and middle class women, and the tea was considered a rather formal affair. Carlin and I ran into Omar Miller from the hit HBO series Ballers and invited him to come along for a different twist, gentlemen's afternoon tea. All right, gentlemen, so this is a cross between traditional tea and gentlemen's tea. You mix in some tea and, for me, a little bit of whiskey. I mean, you've got multiple different sandwiches, two different kinds of salmon. You've got egg sandwiches here, cucumber. Yeah, they've got some scones up here, plain, and then some with some fruit, pastries. And then over here, a little bit more meat. You've got a ham hock with caramelized onion, cheese sticks with some melted cheese. That's a liver pie. I got to know more about Carlin and Omar as the afternoon went on at the Athenaeum Hotel, and it was a great time. Everything from their backgrounds to their professional careers and to their philosophy on what makes them succeed in their careers. The cool thing about Carlin was is that you had like a couple of chances at the Olympics. You could have potentially gone as a track athlete, and somehow a guy like you lands and is going now as a rugby player. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. For, you know, like, for me, man, I always had, you know, had a vision. I know that, you know, going, you know, playing in the NFL, which I got to do for a little bit, which was one of my genes of childhood, and I'm um, going to the Olympics, and, you know, you keep an open mind, and, you know, you let God guide you, guide you and direct you, and um, you have faith, and you just work hard, and who knows what it takes, and then here I come, dream coming true, so wow. just pay wow. well. That's awesome. So I got to ask you a question. What inspires you, what motivates you every day? I grew up with constant reminders of that scripture of to whom much is given, much is required. And I grew up very well, and I have a lot of gifts. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that things has worked for in my life. And I've been good at stuff. And the more people you encounter in life, the more you recognize that life sometimes is a struggle for people. Yeah. You know, I was good at sports. I'm, good at performance. I'm good at a lot of stuff. And because of that, I have a responsibility to live up to my potential, you know? Yeah. And it's chasing that greatness that really, it's, it's, it's like the dangling carrot. Well, I appreciate you having me, man. It's fantastic meeting uh, you. Thank you, boss. You yeah, too, no man. doubt, man. Yeah, do your thing out there too, in the industry. Going. I don't mean this literally, but in the entertainment industry, we say break a leg. So get out there, man, show them what time it is. That's really? Right. Yeah, well, right. I believe that. I'm going to be watching. <laughs> I, I might sneak down there to Rio. Yeah, I'm going to be watching you too. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah.